morning everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all well and enjoying the last few weeks of the summer holidays that we've got left and um, we are in my bedroom because it's a bit quieter being the summer holidays i've got kids about i have only got shane and nathan here today Heidi is at buzz chloe is at lucas's but it's still a bit noisy knowing that i've got the two boys yesterday steve and myself went to asda tesco's and b m and here's sophia um i'm trying to get a bit ahead of the game and um get some school supplies for the children and um i went so that's why i went out shopping so to get start make a start on the school supplies because i've got hayley who's starting secondary school and although she's going to a specialist school and I don't need to provide her with um, the usual stuff uh, like maths calculator, paper pens and all that sort of stuff that you do for a mainstream school. I still want to provide her with some lovely pens and pencil cases and new lunchbox and stuff because she loves that sort of stuff anyway. And I don't want her thinking her starting this secondary school is any less special and a big deal than a mainstream school. So that is the method to my madness there. Nathan is going to be starting nursery four days a week and he will be having lunches there. So we want to get him some nice little lunch bits. Chloe is starting college. So she needs some college supplies, i.e. folders, pens, paper and all that lot. And then Shane is going to be in year 11. So he will be doing his final year of GCSEs. He doesn't need a whole lot because we had to buy him new uniform just before the summer holidays because he had another growth spurt and <coughs> he uses a laptop rather than paper and pens most of the time because his handwriting is atrocious and he has difficulty with his hands. So we do need to get them a few other bits but this is more like stationery and stuff like that. So we'll start with Asda because I've got it next to me and in Asda... We spent £61.15p and I do have the receipt so if there's anything you like a look of and you want to know how much it cost by all means just drop a comment down below and I will tell you how much the item cost and as you can see I've got my lovely assistant next to me so we'll put the receipt there and I will show the items that just fell down okay they have um, well, pretty much everywhere at the moment has all their stationery on sale and I thought I'd grab these for Chloe while I could get them because chances are if I leave them any longer they're not going to have them in the colours that she likes so I got her two leave arch folders one of the big ones as you can see and then one of the skinny ones in this like mint green lovely colour so I got her them and then I got her them in lilac as well and these are the pucker are they pucker yeah pucker folders so i've got two in lilac as well a big one and a small one when i went to college um i think i went through about five five lever arches of folders when i was there so i was just being cautious and i'd get her a few big ones and small just in case she needs them although college courses aren't half as big as what they were when i was at college um nathan We've got him a bluey lunchbox and he already loves it because he saw it straight away, went to the Tupperware containers cupboard and started filling it with toys and Tupperware and then said out. So he wanted to go out for a picnic or something with this lunchbox. So he will enjoy using that when he starts nursery full time. Then, I mean, the main reason there oh, we went to Asda was to get the stationery and stuff. And to try and find the squishies, cherry cola, no buttons, cherry cola um, squishies. But I couldn't find them. My Asda just doesn't have them. And butters is going to make a jump. There we go. But uh, we did manage to find the orange aero balls. Now this is a much smaller bag than the normal. This is 70 grams. But they were more expensive than the mint ones and the normal. But I got two packets of them. The other ones are in lower down in the bag but i can't wait to start on them i picked up some bubble gum bottles yum yum 
and buttons. No, oh god, sorry. I got. It's like I'm in the bedroom and I've got Sophia here. I've got Princess is up there on the barrel. I've got buttons that was just about to jump on Princess, and then I've got Martha that just jumped in front of the camera to jump up on the barrel, not realizing Princess was up there. And then we would have had a full blown fight because those two girls don't get on. But as I was saying, two packets of knickknacks. We got the rib and saucy, six packs. They all last my family luck of not even a week because my kids love these. And because there's six of us, I don't eat them, but um, that'll be one sitting. They'll probably last two days, actually. That's them. I've got myself sweet and salty popcorn for one night while I'm watching um, my new TV show that I've started watching, which is the vampire, no, the diary, the interview with the vampires. That is what I've started watching on Amazon Prime. There we go. Then we went to the bakery section and they had some muffins reduced. Which, oh, they had a lot of stuff reduced. So well, apparently reduced. Yellow, as it doesn't reduce very much. But I still managed to get the kids some nice treats. We got some lemon muffins for 50p. And then we got some chocolate chip muffins for 50p. So they can have them later. And now I've got Marla in there as well. I needed two new underwear, sock, coat hanger thingies that go on the washing line. You know, all the little pegs so it doesn't take up all your pegs on the washing line. I'm trying to get as much washing done and on the line to air out rather than use the tumble dryer. So I've got two of them. The other ones are broke. They don't last very long, but hey-ho. Then they had their jammy dodgers on offer so we got two packets of the apple and black currant and we got two packets of the raspberry yep the raspberry there we go i've seen tesco's do a strawberry one now but that wasn't in my shop when i went there so just have to get that another time i got Haley some new clothes from here and tesco's because she's had another growth spurt She's actually getting taller now, and um, I've just had to buy her some new clothes. So I've got her a nice little vest top, like that. It's only cheap and cheerful, three pounds. That will do her for a few weeks during the summer, last of the summer holidays. And then I got her a black one because she keeps having to pinch my black ones to go with. Um, she's got like some green cargi shorts now, and none of her coloured tops go with so she needed a black vest top to go with it and she is the same size as me now so um poor steve he doesn't know <laughs> whose clothes are whose now he used to be able to tell her clothes to my clothes to chloe's clothes but now Haley and myself are in the same size and chloe's in the size smaller than us so it's a bit of a funny one um stationery now oh hang on there's the other bag of the aero orange balls Right, stationery. I got these for Hayley. They are some nice colourful gel pens because Hayley does love stationery gel pens and stuff like that. So she'll be able to use them at school. Then I got these for Chloe because I know she'll absolutely love these. I know she needed some highlighters, so I got her that pack, which is like the bog standard four colours that you get. But then these ones... They're glittery, so I know she's absolutely going to love them. And obviously you get pink, lilac, blue and like a turquoise green. So she'll be excited to see them. Then I got her just the bog standard four colours. Pretty much the same colours as the, no, not the same. But yeah, blue, lilac, pink and orange highlighters. Um, Hayley, I've got a bendy ruler in case she needs it for school and that throw that bag over there Hayley is actually left-handed and no one in our family are left-handed we're all righties but she's left-handed and Steve pointed out he saw this in Asta it's a left-handed stationery set so hopefully this will really help Hayley with her writing and stuff and in here you get a pen 
two pencils, although I don't know how that will be different from a bog standard, a, a refill for the handwriting pen, a sharpener and a rubber. Really, I think the only thing that's different to a bog standard is the pen. But hopefully it will make it a bit more easier for Hayley. So I've got that. And then last but not least, in Asda, they had their big boxes of Huggies Wet Wipes 12 pack for 5 75 So I picked up a box of them, excuse me, for Nathan. So that is that lot from Asda. Boom. Now we'll pull over the next bag. This one is from B&M, okay? And do I have the receipt in here? Yes, I do. In B&M, we spent £30.84. And what did I go in B&M for? Oh, I tried to find my dad, because I know he likes Bounty. I tried to find him the new Bounty M&Ms, but they didn't have them. So, just have to spend my money elsewhere. Nathan some bluey crocs he absolutely loves bluey at the moment as well as poor patrol gabby's dollhouse and lucas the spider on netflix so we got him them he's got a pair of crocs but he loves putting them on he wear them around the house and they're easy for him to have just to throw on his feet and go out in the garden so we got some crocs for nathan steve picked up this large chrome shower head Although I don't know what shower he's planning on putting that on. Whether he's planning on putting it in the wet room or, or the one in the main bathroom. He just picked that up. Then he picked up some of this wash and wax for the cars. I think Steve just likes to go to B&M for car stuff really. Um, we've got some screen wash. Nice bright pink and it's... Did he say it was cherry scented? Concentrated removed dirt. Yeah, cherry fragranced. So there we go. My car's gonna smell like cherries. Like his. Um a couple of hauls back from BM. I got some of these like slush puppy drinks for Hayley in Frutella, and she absolutely loved them. So she asked me to pick up some more of them when I next go. And these are fantastic for hot days for the kids and for when she goes to buzz as well, because she'll pull one of these out put it in a lunchbox and it will keep her whole lunch cold and then by the time it comes to time for them to have their lunch it's a nice slushy drink consistency so kills two birds with one stone keeps her hydrated keeps the lunchbox cold and it's a nice kind of treat for her as well so we got her the cherry juice drink one they was a pound each or 99p and then we got her the summer fruits one there we go and then I just got her the apple and blackcurrant juice one. So there we go. They're the Frutella flavours. So she's happy. Oh, oh. I've got some toothpaste. We've got the Colgate triple action. Nothing exciting. And then the Colgate white toothpaste. One to stay in mine and Steve's bathroom. And one to go in the bathroom with the other kitty winks. Steve, I got a bar of this dairy milk um dairy milk and more nutty proline crisp he absolutely loves this bar so we got him one of them and then for chloe for college some four correction rollers so instead of tipex or whatever if she makes a mistake she could just roll over this and it leaves a line of tipex kind of a thing on the paper and then she goes right over it so she's got them for college so that is everything from b and Again, nothing really exciting, but I still thought I'd show you. And then from Tesco's, sorry, rustling around, more crisps. So we got some knickknacks, nice and spicy, because my kids and Steve all love them. Buttons, you're making me very nervous. Can you get down? Thank you. Oh, I thought she was going to jump on Princess and then pick a pipe. We did have two packets of these pickled onion space raiders, but one packet's already gone. Steve started on the way home and then Nathan finished them this morning. So we got them. Again, Tesco's have a big sale on, on their clothes, all their summer range and stuff, and then obviously their school stuff, school supplies as well. So we picked up this school backpack for Shane. 
It's a Nike one, nice and big. It will do him for his last year at school. And I can finally throw that other one out. It's done him two years. Normally I buy the kids a new bag every year, but he was adamant he didn't need a new one. Well, he's going to have a new one this year. So that was on club cards this week. So we got that. I think it only was a couple of quid off, but it still saves some money. Then we got some swim shorts for... Let's go backwards a little bit and then you'll see them better. There we go. Nice cargy green colour. They were reduced from £14 down to £8. We've got the great big 12 foot swimming pool out at the moment. So the kids and Steve are in the swimming pool every night after dinner. So they are for Shane. Because he is no longer in men's large. He's in now men's extra large. Then I've got a pair of black ones. Different material. But... Black shorts, swim shorts, they were £10 reduced down to £6. There we go, for Shane. Then some kind of not swimming shorts, they are like hanging out kind of shorts, if I can open that. Oh no, there we go. Unhook. What are they called? Are they? Oh, chino. We've got some black, black chino shorts here for him. And they were reduced from £14 down to £7.50, which is all good. You watch it, right? I've bought all the kids new shorts and everything, and then the weather will turn nasty. No, my luck. Then I got Steve a pair of, like, these long ones, because he doesn't like having his knees out because he has psoriasis. So he's got these, nice thin material, comes with a belt. And they were reduced from 20 down to 11. Nice black ones. So there's not really a dignified way of showing you clothes, is there? Unless you're modelling them. But I don't think Steve and Shane will model clothes for you. Um, next bits are for Hayley. Just some comfy shorts to have around the house. and all that. Because she's a bit funny. She doesn't like denim with her sensory issues. She likes legging material or like um, jogging, joggers material. So they had like these joggers shorts on offer. They were reduced from £10 down to 6 And they look really comfy joggers. And these are like a navy blue. So I've got her one pair there. Then I've got her the same in grey. So again, nice and comfy. But it's really hot days and you don't want to wear much apart from shorts and a vest top and stuff i got a two of the grey so there we go again some of these were reduced to six pounds and then some were a bit more expensive i think they were seven pounds which were these ones yeah these ones i got a nice kind of um peachy kind of apricot color there we go they were reduced down to £7, and yet they started at £10 like the other ones. Um, one more pair of trousers for Shane. Oh, shorts, sorry. Another pair of chinos. These are in black. Was the other ones in black? Oh, yeah, so he's got two pairs of black chinos. But then he lives in black and then coloured tops. Um, reduced from seven, uh, fourteen pounds down to seven fifty. See, Tesco's do really well with their reducing of the clothes. So now we're on to stationery and foodie bits. So we'll show you the foodie bits, shall we? And here we go. Something new that we have found in Tesco's, and the boys are really looking forward to these. They are Reese's caramel. Big cups, okay. They are Reese's peanut butter cups with caramel in them. So there's two in a pack, like two big ones. And they are on club card at the moment. So I've got one packet for Steve and one for Shane. So he, Shane will be having his straight after I've recorded this. And Steve can have his when he gets home from work. So there's those two. And then for Shane as well. There's another variation of that. Steve wasn't too interested in it. It is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, giant ones again, with um, Reese's Puffs in it. So it's got like the Reese's cereal in it as well. 
same price as the other ones but Steve wasn't too keen on this one so I just got Shane this one to try so I'm sure he will love them Steve picked up Russell Russell sorry some Sensation Thai Sweet Chili Crisps they were on offer so we picked them up I've got to make a banoffee pie and I didn't realise I'd used all the carnation caramel sauce from my pantry so I got two more jars of that from my banoffee pie. Yes I could make my own, I boil up with condensed milk but I don't have time for that during the summer holidays. We got, buttons just wedged away in, some Lynx deodorants for Steve. The big cans are on offer at the moment so he's got the epic fresh i love that one and then he's got the lynx black and then now we're on to stationery again lots and lots of stationery let's get it all out and then it's not going to keep rustling and let's throw the bag over there right for hayley just some bog standard cheap felt tip pens for school they won't last two minutes but she'll be happy with them she'll get more she'll get nicer coloring stuff for at home when it comes to christmas but for school she can take them same as coloring pencils she'll just take them to school but i got her some lovely colored pastel pencils for if she wants to do some drawing or writing at, at school I mean, you said nursery then at school lovely colors then I got her some lovely zebra pens and these are the nice minty green that seems to be in fashion at the moment and um, they have little daisies on them so as you can see can you see there we go is it gonna focus yeah it is there we go anyway there's a three in a pack there I thought she'd like them I got a multi-pack of zebra pens here to divide out between the house and Chloe so she can take whichever one she wants. They were a good deal. Then we just got the plain black because I do like to have pens at home and then obviously the kids can take what they want as well if they need to. And I find zebra pens tend to just write really smoothly on the paper so that's why we get them. And then again for Hayley... I got these Bic, not Bic because I was looking at Bic, Zebra Mermaid kind of lilac and pink Zebra pens. They're black, obviously like all the other ones, but they, they look pretty. So Hayley likes pretty looking things. And then these are for no one in mind. I just like the look of them. They are the Bic kind of like uh, four coloured pens. And is it going to show it better? There we go. They're like Hawaiian holiday tropical thing there on the stems. And I love them. So we picked them up. Some more highlighters for Chloe or Hayley, whoever needs them. These are more of a finer tip. And they are pastel and the bright collection. So there's 12 in there. And then last but not least from Tesco's. These are for my niece, no one in this family. I got her some Pasca, Pasca paint markers in the gold, silver, white and black. These are for her arts because she's been doing what Chloe does and drawing and painting on CDs and vinyls and stuff. And um, she didn't realise that um, acrylic paint comes in pens as well. And she's trying to do fine detail and paintbrushes just aren't cutting at the moment. So um, I bought her some pens so she can use them. And they're all on offer at Tesco's as well. So that is everything that I bought from Asda, B&M and Tesco's. I hope you like this video. And if there's any items you've liked the look of and would like to know the prices, just drop a comment down below and I'll be able to tell you um how much it cost same as um it's hopefully shown you some nice items that you didn't know about and um you can go find them for your children or yourself but i'm gonna go i'm gonna get this lot put away i'm gonna go check on shane and nathan 
and I'm going to go and enjoy the sun. So I hope you have a great rest of the day and enjoying the last few days or weeks of the summer holidays. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.